There is a local artist who's using his medium for the, to help those in need. Julio Ortiz live in Sacramento to meet him and tell us more. Hey, Hi, who? Hey, good morning to you. Yes, so we've introducing you this morning to this local artist, Vitaly. He is a Ukrainian artist uh, and actually using his medium, using artwork that he has created to help families in Ukraine. I want to introduce you this morning to Vitaly. Good morning to you. Hello. Good you, morning. You uh, have family still in Ukraine. You've been here for about 20 years. So I want to start with first, have you been able to make contact with your family? Can you talk a little bit about your perspective? Yes, my parents uh, have called. Uh, FaceTime and uh, I have relatives in different uh, cities so it's on my father's side and mother's side Mm -hmm. some relatives have moved out already but most of them stay there you decided you've been you've been said you've been painting since you were six years old. So this was your opportunity because I would imagine being here very difficult to try to do your part to try to help as much as you want to. But you decided to do this and specifically to help by selling your artwork to help with food and water. You said that's been very difficult for some areas. Yes, we are lucky that in uh, Sacramento there is uh, there are quite a few Ukrainian charities. Uh, I would like to use. UAhouse.org. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Yusko Realty specifically has been uh, building this uh, organization uh, to help Ukrainians. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'll be using this uh, around 40% mm-hmm. from my profit. Yeah to make sure that Ukrainian people get help. You said that water has been difficult for some families to even get. Yes, specifically in Chernigov region, yeah. where my uncle is, uh, they they have run out of water. Wow, wow. Yes. So, so obviously this has sparked uh, and touched extremely close to home for you. These are some of the art pieces. He's kind of made a little art gallery for us here um, in the backyard area to show just beautiful pieces. Like I said, you've been painting since you were six. What type of painting? Most of the paintings that I used to do was landscapes and seascapes. Yeah. I really like seascapes, yeah. but for the last uh, around five or even six years, I b- have been focusing on abstract mm-hmm. because I like uh, something that you can enjoy, yeah. just uh, play with paint. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And most of the paintings are acrylic. Mm-hmm. Some of the paintings uh, that you see here is uh, done with uh, done with oil. Oh, okay. So, for most likely that maybe uh, a year from now you'll see even bigger paintings, bigger paintings. because I love big paintings. <laughs> Yes. Bigger is better, right? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so, again, um, it's such a great way for you to, to help, and you can, too. Uh, so, again, a portion of the sales from the next 50 pieces will be helping. It is UA. Uh, house.org. We've got that linked up to uh, our website if you are interested in helping out. Uh, you can see some of his, more of his artwork on his Instagram as well. But again, uh, I know everyone is trying to find a way to help and this might be the way for you to help local artists with Ukrainian family. Uh, so again, we've got all that info on our website, gooddaysacramento.com. More Good Day coming up on the other side of this break.